My name is Sally Science, and I love it when you send in your curious questions for us to explore together. And today, we have an awesome question from Noah. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Thanks, Noah, for sending in this great question. Scientists have been wondering the answer to this for a really long time. Would you believe me if I told you that birds didn't fly south for the winter at all, but they actually flew to the moon instead? <laughs> no, silly, I'm just joking. They don't fly to the moon. But a long time ago, there was a scientist named Charles Morton who did think the birds flew all the way to the moon for the winter. How crazy is that? <laughs> well, we know now that birds travel all over the planet, thousands of kilometers in distance in the spring and fall in a process we call migration. And birds aren't the only creatures in our ecosystems that migrate. Uh, fish, turtles, whales, caribou, all of them move across the planet from one area to another. And do you know why they travel so far across the planet? Well, the answer is really all about food. This is the Earth. Okay, it's not the real Earth, it's just a little mini version. But birds know how to get around the Earth really, really well because they have an amazing sense of direction. If you went outside right now, would you know which way was north? Well, the birds would. There are four main directions that we use to find our way around the planet. Here at the top is north, here at the bottom is south, and then we have east and west. And there are so many different kinds of birds on Earth that fly in so many different directions, it would take me all day to talk about them all. So today, we're just gonna talk about the birds that migrate from north to south and south to north just like the Canada geese do. Do you know in the fall, when you can feel the air get a little bit chillier and you have to put on a warmer coat and maybe you can see your breath? Well, birds who migrate also feel that chill. And when they get a little chilly, they know it's one of the signals that they have to start heading south. And when the air gets cooler, there are also not as many things around for the bird to eat, like insects and bugs. So they take to the skies and fly to where it is warmer and there are lots of insects and bugs to eat. How cool is that? And you're probably wondering, Noah, if it is so warm down there with so much to eat, why bother flying all the way north again in the spring? Well, birds migrate northward in the spring for more snacks. <laughs> Eventually, the south gets cooler and we get warmer. And as we get warmer, there are more bugs to eat. So they take to the skies again and fly northward just as the bugs are starting to buzz around and they have a big feast. But the springtime is also the time of year that birds lay eggs and start new families. And many different types of birds return to the very same place every year to start their families. And they've been doing that for a really, really, really long time. But what is super cool part about all of this is not the why do they migrate, but how do they migrate? I mean, they don't have a map or a GPS or a compass. Or do they? Scientists are still trying to figure this out, but they have discovered traces of magnetite, which is a naturally occurring magnetic mineral in the beaks of a lot of species of birds. And scientists now think that birds use those traces of magnetite as a compass to find their way all over the planet in the spring and in the fall, year after year after year. How amazing is that? Thanks, Noah, for sending in this awesome question. If you have a curious question that you'd like to explore with me, please send it in. I would love to hear it. 
I hope you all have a super duper day, everyone. And this is Sally Science, signing out.